by doing the right thing to protect our health, we are also supporting our economy. Federal liberals announce a wave of new COVID relief benefits, including a CERB extension, paid sick leave, and relief for gig economy workers. This all comes with a $37 billion price tag. But Canada's new finance minister says the economy can handle it due to strong performance, which she credits to efforts to flatten the curve. I think the international experience at this point is really, really clear. If you do the right thing to fight the coronavirus in the medium term, you are going to have a stronger economy. The plan extends the emergency response benefit another month. When it runs out, Canadians eligible for EI will transition to that program or other new programs announced today. Included in the new relief is 10 days of paid sick leave for workers who are sick and have to self-quarantine. There's a general consensus that this is a really good idea and that it helps workers who may be symptomatic or are worried that they might have covid make their choice to not work a little bit easier. Gig workers will also be eligible for a $400 weekly benefit available for up to six and a half months. There will also be a benefit for parents who have to care for children under 12 and an EI revamp. However, these plans come at a time when Parliament is prorogued. Finance Minister Christia Freeland rejected the idea that introducing the plans now is undemocratic, saying that opponents could let their votes do the talking when Parliament resumes with a throne speech and confidence vote. I am really confident that the right thing to do is to give all members of parliament the right to speak for their constituents, to vote in the House, and to say to Canadians, do they support these measures or not? It's estimated that around 4 million Canadians are still receiving the CERB, with 3 million of those expected to transition to EI when the CERB ends. But Employment Minister Carla Qualtro says that the CERB has bought Employment Canada the time to revamp its systems to prepare to accept that wave of new applicants. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.